We're All-American Sports Academy 14U Nelson Mortimer. We're one team from a big organization. You can kind of say we're a team within a team. We love knowing that we belong to something bigger than just ourselves. We've had some amazing women help pave the way in our sport. And some of them walk the same footsteps as some of these girls are walking right now. Some of our alumni may be some familiar faces that you may know. Like Ali Aguilar, Shelby Weeks, or UCLA's Bubba Nick. Regardless of where these ladies are at in their own journey, they still make time to give back to their sport, the youth, but also back to the organization that they call. We are All American Sports Academy. And of the free and the home of the brave. Our team has been blessed with so many opportunities to give back in many different ways over the past years. Whether it was helping out at our local Christmas food drives, to supporting awareness, adopting families at our local women's shelter, volunteering our time to the youth and recreational leagues by sharing our love for our sport. We've showed our appreciation to our law enforcement. We've donated loads of toys to our local toy drives. Last April, when we first were quarantined, our team alone mailed out over 95 letters of love to remind people that they were still being thought of during such a difficult time for all. These things are just a piece of what we've accomplished, but a big part of who we are. Regardless of what we've done in the past, the toughest team challenge has taught us that it's about bettering your best, and that's what we're doing, we're striving to become 1% better each day. So we've decided to take it up a notch and give ourselves a confidence challenge and a courage challenge. Our confidence task was to create an idea to give back as a team. So our team collected donations and items to make bags of hope for the homeless and anyone else in need. All right guys, what do we got going on here? Awesome. What do we got in here? What are some things we got? Together. We were able to make an impact on over 60 people in seven different counties. But remember, we didn't stop there. Our Courage Task was created by all the different ideas that were close to our hearts. Different ideas with the same mission. That mission was to make a positive impact on as many people and causes as possible. We used the diversity within the team and highlighted the different and unique things that they were passionate about. So I guess you can say that we used our differences as our strength and as a gateway to do more than we could ever achieve on our own. Our confidence and courage task was a testament to what we can accomplish as a team, but also to the fact that can all make an impact in their own unique way, but still be motivated, empowered, and supported by the unity and bond of the team that stands behind them. Coach Jen has taught us that imperfect action creates leaders. And good leaders know that even the smallest amount matters and that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Hi, my name is Jake Cosgriff. I'm 14 years old from Livermore, California. My charity is Kids Against Hunger. Kids Against Hunger is a nonprofit organization that provides food for children and families across the world. Their goal is for their meals to provide a stable nutritional base which recipient families can move their families from starvation or food insecurity to self-sufficiency. The way I'm going to help out with Kids Against Hunger is I'm going to go to their facility, volunteer, and help fill bags with food. When you volunteer for Kids Against Hunger, it costs $20 a person. For every $20, 100 plus people in need are being fed. The reason why I would love to volunteer and help out with Kids Against Hunger is because it just reminds me of how lucky I am to be able to have food every day. It just reminds me of how grateful I should be because a lot of people around the world don't know when they're going to get their next meal. I have done Kids Against Hunger before with my church and it was amazing to see how many bags we made. If you ever get a chance to do Kids Against Hunger, you should definitely take it. On February 5th, my teammates and their families and I will be going to Kids Against Hunger in Pleasanton and volunteering. There will be 16 of us. 
Each of us will have to pay $20. For every $20, 100 people are being fed. That means that all of us combined, we will be feeding 1,600 people in need. Hi, my name is Karima Cardatachea. I'm 14, I'm in the ninth grade, and I live in Riverbank, California, and go to Ripon High. I paired up with Project Hope from the Stanislaus Veterans Center to organize me delivering personalized letters for the senior citizens that I handmade. These letters will be distributed through the monthly groceries that the senior citizens are receiving. I chose this cause because I had a grandfather who lived in a rehabilitation center for five years, and we recently lost him. While he was there, the pandemic hit. He wasn't able to get any visitors. I think if he got something to make him smile or made his day, his last days would have been a little better. I made 45 handmade personalized letters for the 45 isolated citizens, including a veteran. For every one letter I made, I made one citizen smile. I really enjoyed doing this because it made me more and more determined to make someone smile. You never know what someone else is going through. A little note can go a long way. Hi, my name is Jessica Latore and I'm 14 years old. I play for All American Sports Academy on the 14 E. Nelson Mortimer team. As a part of our team outreach project, we are asked to reach for something we are passionate about and help the cause. I chose the 100 Club of Contra Costa County. This organization helps the families of first responders who lose their lives in the line of duty. They give money directly to the family of the fallen officers to assist them in their time of need. The 100 Club is important to me because I come from a law enforcement family. My grandfather, both of my parents, my aunt, and several cousins are police officers or hold support jobs in law enforcement. It was an honor to give to a cause that's close to my heart. Hi, I'm Paige. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Murder Park, California. I chose to donate to the charity Together We Rise. Together We Rise is a charity that helps foster children and teenagers in need. I chose this charity because growing up I learned a lot about foster care and how difficult it is to go through being a foster child and growing up. I learned this from my grandma and dad because they were both foster children growing up and didn't have the best lives. This charity gives you three duffel bags you can sponsor. Sponsoring these duffel bags is also donating. There is a teenage bag, which is for teenagers who travel, which is for $15. $25, there is a duffel bag called Sweet Case for little children. This duffel bag comes with warm blanket, a teddy bear, hygienic care, and fun activities for this child to do while they're in the foster care. Hi, my name is Sienna Vargas. I'm from Vacaville, California. I play softball for Nelson Mortimer, 14U, and I was given the opportunity to choose a cause that I'm passionate about and try to make a difference. I'm very passionate about the Coral Restoration Foundation because coral reefs are more important than most people think. Some people throw trash on the floor without thinking about it, but sooner or later it ends up in the ocean, and we don't take the necessary precautions to make our planet better. Things such as sunscreen and other chemicals we use affect coral reefs as well. Instead of using those harsh products, there are other alter alternatives that are safe and ocean friendly. I feel it is very important to take care of our planet while we still can. I started a GoFundMe account with a goal of raising $500 and so far I've raised half. I also went to my nearest Bay Area beach to pick up trash. And with my little brother's help, we were able to fill an entire trash bag that afternoon. Hi, I'm Michaela Mortimer. I'm 14 years old and I play for All American Nelson Mortimer 14U. The cause that I decided to find raise for is called gastroschisis and the foundation is called Avery's Angels Foundation. Gastroschisis is basically where you're born with everything on the inside of your stomach on the outside. So it's a really bad birth defect that not a lot of children survive. Um, it's so important to me because I was also born with gastroschisis, and so it just hit somewhere close in my heart. 
Um, Avery's Angels Foundation, they give back to the families and the children that suffer from gastroschisis, and they also give back to research to try to figure out a way to stop it if preventable. I donated about $250. And here are pictures of me when I was first born with gastroschisis. Hi, my name is Apollonia Maldonado. I am 14 years old and I'm from Antioch, California. The charity I chose to support was Feeding America. It's a nationwide network of 200 food banks and 60,000 food pantries and meal programs that provides food and services to people. 99% of all donations go to the cause and every $1 is the equivalent to 10 meals. I chose this charity because once my mother told me a story of how when she was younger, she too had experienced food shortages. After remembering that story, I really want to support a charity that provided food for people in need. That's why I made this GoFundMe account to raise money and awareness. There are so many ways to help others, and I hope that you too can give back in your own way by supporting your community and the people around you. Hi, my name is Jezebel Vicencio. I'm 14 years old, and I live in San Bruno, California. I thought long and hard on what cause I wanted to raise awareness to. Wine Garden Children's Center is a school that helps kids with hearing loss. I was introduced to deaf awareness at a, at a young age because my brother Junior was diagnosed with hearing loss as an infant. I truly believe that I'm very lucky to have a brother who made me aware of these things. Speech therapy, cochlear implants, and hearing aids in a close-knit community also became an instrumental part of my life. The hardworking staff made daily miracles happen and I got to witness it firsthand watching my brother's progression into the mainstream world. With this money, I hope to provide the school with some of the resources they need to provide for their students. I had a goal of $500 that I was going to donate to the school, but I was truly blessed to go over my goal and raise $755. And all that money is going to Wine Garden and to all the materials they need to help kids like my brother. Hi, I'm Jasmine Worley. I am part of All American Sports Academy 14U Woodmore slash Nelson. For my individual project, I decided to raise money within close family members, friends, and relatives because I couldn't really reach out to other people at a time like this. I raised money for a foundation called Operation Dignity. Operation Dig Dignity is based out of Alameda County and it is for homeless veterans and people who are in encamp encampments. They, it raises enough money to either put them in a house or, uh, or if they're in a house already, get them settled. And it's a, it's a little bit of a struggle for them to get back up on their feet after serving. This story actually hits closer to home because my dad was 14 when he moved out of the house because of family reasons. It was it was really a struggle for him because he didn't have anyone to count on. He's actually an ex-veteran. It's just, it hits close to home because my dad was homeless and he was a veteran. There's a lot of people who can't support themselves after everything. It was just a fantastic experience raising money for all of this and going through everything. Actually, $102, well, it bought a welcome home basket of, like, linens, kitchen supplies, essentials, so they can feel like it's actually their home. And just a little bit of money could help out a person. It's really inspiring. I, I love doing this type of stuff. Hello, my name is Madison Bohannon and I play for the All-American Sports Academy Nelson Mortimer 14 youth softball team. Each member of my team has chosen a specific cause that is near to our heart in an effort to raise money. I have chosen the Skin Cancer Foundation, which helps educate people in early detection, skin cancer research, free skin cancer screenings, and more. I chose this cause because I lost my grandpa a few years ago due to skin cancer and late detection. If this foundation is going to help people struggling, not only with the illness, but the people that support them, I would love to help, even if it's just a small donation. These girls deserve to be the toughest team challenge champions because as individuals, they are leaders. They know when to lead, but they also know when to follow. They rise up for the occasion and never look down on someone unless it's to help them up. As coaches, we want to do everything in our power to support and invest in good people like that. 
because those are the type of people that make this world and this sport a better place. As a team, I wholeheartedly believe in the ability of this group, not only on the field or in competition, but also in their capacity to inspire and help make a positive change in the world. In our confidence challenge, our team was able to impact over 60 human lives by creating the Bags of Hope. In our Courage Challenge, we were able to raise over $3,000 in less than a week and a half. With that money, they made it possible to put food in over 3,600 mouths. They've helped fund research for awareness, support families that share a same struggle. They've inspired people to continue fighting their own battles. They reached over 50 senior citizens and reminded them that they're cared about. They've helped not only countless people, but also different conservations. These ladies accomplish success on top of their busy schedules, like school, homework, lessons, team practices, and even chores. And let me remind you that they did it in less than two weeks. If they can do that, Lord only knows what they're capable of. So although being crowned toughest team challenge champions would be a super amazing accomplishment, we also know what we've done and what we will continue to do with or without a title. Please don't mistake this as arrogance, because it's not. It's earned confidence. That's a powerful thing, and that is a win in my book. We are All-American Sports Academy 14U Nelson Mortimer, and we are better together.